Hello everybody, it is Sunday. I'm right here in uh, downtown LA and uh, that's the uh, Paul Hastings Tower and this is the uh, City National Bank Tower and then you got the uh, LA Care Medicare Medi-Cal Tower and you have a few other nice places here. This is uh, 6th and uh, Flower Street. You got a Birch Social and the Delphi. And you have the uh, Central Library there and you have uh, the, uh, the Bank of America and the uh, W Hotel. And so real quick, I want to talk to you about City National Bank. I want to talk to you about the elections. First of all, the elections, the 2024 presidential elections. Today is uh, August 4th, 2024 Sunday. Never on a Sunday. Never on a Sunday. The 2024 presidential elections is flawed. And I'll tell you why. President Joe Biden participated in the uh, primary qualifications debates with other Democratic candidates. Donald Trump participated in the primaries with other Republican candidates. Joe Biden won the qualifications, the primary elections. Then, because of his open heart surgeries, he was forced to drop out because he doesn't have a good vice president. Kamala Harris is Taliban Afghanistan. She says she was born in the United States. She cannot prove it with a birth certificate because all of her friends that she went to elementary school and high school with say that she's from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, or Taliban Afghanistan, and she's pretending because she's in and out of airports in Oakland, that she was born in Oakland. She was not born in Oakland. She's from Taliban Afghanistan, and wishful thinking she's from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So what's going on here is that all of a sudden Kamala Harris is a finalist to the 2024 presidential elections, and Joe Biden is the one that got you there in the preliminary qualifi qualifying election. So thereby, the election is flawed. You should have other qualified Democratic candidates competing with Kamala Harris. They never got a chance to debate with Kamala Harris. All of a sudden now Kamala Harris is debating with Trump at the finals. It's that saying that you have the, the Olympics and it's like saying like Landon Donovan and the Landon Donovan USA soccer stars got past the qualifications and made it to the Olympics finals, Olympic final game. And then Landon Donovan, Landon Donovan is not allowed to play. And of course, the USA soccer team is going to lose because Landon Donovan is the one that got you there. And Landon Donovan cannot play the finals. It's the same thing with the 2024 presidential elections. Joe Biden got you past the primaries. Kamala Harris didn't. That's also based on the 22nd Amendment of the United States of America. And not to mention that they're not qualified. What happened to Anthony Blinken? What happened to the undersecretary of the state? What happened to, don't call me Shirley Weber, don't call me Shirley, don't call me late for dinner, don't call me Shirley, what happened to Shirley Weber? What happened to the undersecretary of California State? What happened to the undersecretary of the United States? Anthony Blinken, how can you qualify? Kamala Harris was arrested and sent to the Naval Observatory prison. She tried to commit coup d'etat of the Secret Service and coup d'etat of the White House. She had known terrorists from Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, that became Secret Service agents at the White House. And she tried to commit a coup d'etat where she let these known terrorists from Guantanamo Bay take over the White House. Not to mention that she also has convictions in San Francisco because she was attorney general there and 
She was in the drug dealer, drug trafficking business there. She has a relationship to my sister, Morella Loyacono, who stole my father's will of TD Ameritrade of $1.82 billion, and she used that money to buy aluminum from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, because Kamala Harris has an uncle. His name is Franco Harris of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they, they stole my money to buy aluminum because this is how they're committing the money laundering. They have new construction sites coming up everywhere. Right down the road over there, that's, that's the Ocean Wide Plaza. The brand new construction, billions of dollars put into there with my money and City National Bank that's in the murder business committing genocide and free for all pillaging of Americans like myself, a top notch computer consultant from the East Coast that relocated here, and City National Bank and Central Library are killing Americans like myself because they're using this money as venture capital to pay for enemy soldiers and terrorists. That's called harboring terrorists. This is beyond coup d'etat of the California courts. This is beyond coup d'etat of the government. They have not only taken over California, they're trying to overthrow the United States, and they're trying to say that they've been in Los Angeles for so long that they're now the new owners of Los Angeles, and we're trying to replace the Bill of Rights in the Constitution with communism at best, but more like dictatorship from Donald Trump and Kim from North Korea and Kamala Harris, um, Taliban Afghanistan. They're not qualified. They have convictions. They've been sent to prison. Donald Trump, capital riots, insurrections. He's been arrested by the IRS so many times including the uh, Trump media and warrants, and he used that Trump media money, IPO and warrants, to pay for the campaign contributions for the 2024 presidential elections. Donald Trump is a convicted ex-con criminal who allowed John Joseph Regas and Adelphia Communications, who was arrested for an antitrust monopoly along with AT&T of Bell Labs in Murray Hill, New Jersey, and Cal Murray, Patty Murray, Irish Republican Army, North Korea, Taliban Afghanistan, uh, Brazil, who's running fingerprinting and background checks. They're saying that I'm not Leo Kona. Yes, I am. I can prove it by fingerprinting. They're in the murder business. Are you going to hire Donald Trump? Are you going to hire? Are you going to? Are you going to elect Donald Trump to be your president? Are you going to let North Korea be your president? Are you going to let Taliban Afghanistan be your president? They're not qualified. Anthony, Blake, Anthony Blinken, wake up and smell the coffee. They're not qualified. They don't even have birth certificates. I'm saying to disqualify the election and to have a delayed election where Joe Biden stays in office for six months to a year and a half so that you can gather all of the Democratic and Republican candidates and they can have a preliminary election where Kamala Harris actually has to debate because the election right now is rigged.